Good evening, everyone. Hi. Welcome to International Pop Set episode 19. My name is Mandy. Uh, my partner today is Sue. Okay, uh, good evening to everyone. Thanks for joining us again um, every week of Fridays at 9.30. So today we have a very interesting topic to talk about uh, is NREST investments. So for those that who have joined us uh, last week uh, on the property zones that I'm sure you do uh, understand a little bit about the uh, NREST investments. So today we will actually further elaborate uh, into this and we will recommend one of the projects which is entitled for this NREST investments. Okay, um, Sue, do you want to introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Sue. Uh, I'm from uh, IQI International Sales Team. Uh, mm -hmm. Nice to uh, see all of you here today. Thank you for tuning in. Yep. Okay, so um, can you elaborate what is uh, NREST investments? Okay, so this uh, NREST, I think uh, those that um, have uh, followed us uh, for the last uh, Property Zone um, episode also would have already heard about this. And uh, NREST is uh, um, short for National Rental Affordability Scheme. And uh, this scheme, it is uh, actually a joint effort by the federal and the state government in Australia. Mm -hmm. Yep. So um, what is the benefit for this uh, NRESC? Would you want to elaborate a little bit more? Sure. Okay. Um, uh, it aims to actually increase uh, new and uh, affordable uh, housing to the low and moderate income earners so that uh, these uh, group of people are, are able to um, uh, uh, get a lower uh, housing rental um, about, you know, uh, discounted rental so that they are, they are able to obtain the affordable housing. Yep. Mm -mm. So uh, this uh, program actually started in uh, 2008. So oh, it's okay. about already. Yep. yep. Okay. And um, normally, how long does this kind of schemes uh, or, or rather say uh, this kind of investments or incentive that is given to uh, the investors? Is there a okay. period of time? Yeah. Uh, okay. Initially, it was planned for about 10 years. Mm -hmm. So each um, uh, um, housing will have about... a. a uh, a location will last about 10 years. But uh, I think during the budget in, uh, announced in 2014-2015, uh, they have actually decided to um, cut, uh, you know, uh, from 50,000 a location to 38,000 a location. So, uh, so they, uh, they have uh, maintained it, kept it at 38,000 a location. So there are no more uh, new allocation for this scheme. So right now, uh, for this latest batch of this uh, um, NRES um, allocation, it will only run for the next six years until 2026. Mm, all right. So that's, in other words, there's only six more uh, years to go, right? Yes, that's right. That's right. So, and uh, this uh, um, majority of this uh, allocation now uh, is uh, um, uh, given to uh, WA. So, Western Australia has the bigger number, the biggest number of this allocation. So, uh, so a few housing you can find that uh, in WA, um, you know, uh, within our, our portfolio, they are also, uh, they, they, some of them also pro, uh, have this uh, NREST uh, location. Yep. Mm, because we hardly heard about NREST uh, in recent years, especially you talk about Melbourne and Sydney side, I don't think uh, we have any uh, NREST uh, projects uh, available okay but so far uh, we have quite a few projects that which is in a WA which is proof that uh, we have this NREST allocation and it's both available for uh, apartment as well as for landed as well right? Yes it is actually so uh, different kind of housing so you have apartments and a, a landed property too. All right so what is the amount that you are talking about when it comes to this uh, NREST in incentive? So the incentive actually amount to 11270 mm -hmm. And out of this, like, um, because uh, just now I mentioned it is a joint effort between the state and the uh, uh, federal um, government. So out of this, like 25% will come from the state government and uh, the, the rest of the 75% will come from the uh, federal government. And that's mm -hmm. the form of tax return. Mm, okay, that's, that's quite a huge amount. 
Yeah, uh, I still remember that when they started, uh, the amounts is about 8,000 plus only. So right now, they actually increased to 11,000 plus. So it's actually quite a lot. And over here, we are talking about AUD 11,000 a year. If you were to convert it to ring it, it's probably about, based on the current rate, it's about uh, 1 equals to 3. Um, mm -hmm. So it would be about 33,000 a year. That's actually a huge amount. Yeah, that's right. That's a lot of money for to get back from the uh, the government, isn't it? It's a clean yeah, money. yeah. <laughs> okay, and especially we are talking about this incentive is actually a uh, non taxable, right? Yeah, that's right. It's tax free. Yeah. All right. Wow, that is actually um very interesting. Imagine that governments is actually giving you the money, the allowance in a way. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But what sort of criteria you are talking about uh to entitle for this NREST investments? As okay. an investor. Yeah. So uh, um, as an investor, actually anyone can buy into NREST. There's mm -hmm. no uh, special criteria. Mm -hmm. So it is, when you buy into NREST property, it will just be like a normal uh, uh, um, a housing purchase transaction. So mm -hmm. there's no, no special criteria. As long as you uh, have the uh, budget, uh, uh, can afford the housing, then you can go ahead to... Uh, mm. So, yep. What about on the tenant side? Will there be uh, some criteria for them to like eligible for this kind of like uh, NREST scheme? Yeah, like I mentioned earlier, uh, because NREST scheme is actually designed for uh, those uh, to provide uh, a, a affordable housing for those that with the uh, low, low and moderate income earner. Mm -hmm. So um, there is actually a ceiling. Uh, so this, uh, for a single person, they have to be uh, making a maximum of 52000 uh Australian dollar a year or uh, 107,000 uh, uh, Australian if it is a couple uh, a year oh, okay. so that, that uh, um, um, for their for their for their income their salary and um, um, the eligibility of course it will be you know um, a process by the consortium uh, each individual application yeah so they actually have a consortium uh, uh, to look after all these uh, criteria and eligibilities and to shortlist for the uh, candidates that which is actually suit for this kind of investment. That's right. So. Okay, so uh, in other words, that this is again is a good investment. There's no uh, restrictions uh, when it comes to uh, anyone can actually purchase uh, this kind of uh, invest investments, be it local or you are actually a foreigner. Okay, yeah. you can actually buy into this uh, kind of investments. So mm -hmm. in other words, it's like um, there's no restrictions when it comes to selling as well, right? Uh, no restriction. You can, of course, you can sell because uh, once you purchase it, right, then you can only sell to the local because, you know, foreigner can't buy the uh, uh, secondhand house yep. in North Korea. So therefore, uh, when you purchase this property, of course, you purchase it brand new. Oh, I forgot to mention all this housing has to be brand new. Uh, um, to be uh, eligible for the uh, NREST uh, allocation. Mm -hmm. And uh, so once you have uh, purchased this housing and when you want to sell it, so you, you must sell it to a local because foreigners cannot buy uh, secondhand housing in Australia. Mm. Hmm, okay, so um, let's say hi to everyone. Thanks for joining us again, uh, the International Prop Check episode 19. Today we are talking about uh, and rest investment. So um, for those that who join us and likes our programs, please give us lots of like and go to our international sales uh, Facebook page to like our uh, page and our program. And you can actually share and invite your friends or uh, your clients or whoever uh, that might be interested to know more about international investments. Um, this is probably one of the program that we actually will share with you all that um, the pro and cons of investing in uh, particular countries and the particular projects, what is the uh, selling points, the unique selling points, and what is the benefit, all right? So remember, if you like our program, please uh, share it with your friends. Or for those that who actually miss our program, because we have run uh, 19 episodes, so um, you can always go to our international sales Facebook page or you can always go to the, our YouTube uh, channel, IQI International Sales, to replay whatever the previous uh, episodes that or topics that we've been discussing. All right? So uh, back to the point. 
So um, in this case, it's like because everyone can actually invest. So when you come to uh, resell, there's no problem as well. But you can only sell it to locals if you are a foreigner who buy into NRS investment. So let's say, for example, you are talking about right now, it lasts for six years only. Okay. So um, if I'm the purchaser, I bought in, okay, one unit with this NRS invest, uh, eligibility. So if I decided to sell like within the six year, or I would say that on the third year that I decided to sell, so will my next buyer continue with this end rest for another three years or you will actually stop? Okay, um, depending on the next buyer, if uh, their intention is to invest, uh, then they can, they have the, uh, uh, they have the uh, right to continue with this NRES. But of course, different people buy property for different reasons. If they buy it for their own, own uh, you know, own, uh, uh, as their own home, then they can choose to terminate this, um, this NRES uh, allocation as well. So it's up to the, the second, the new buyer, what they want to do with the house. Mm, okay, so if they decided to uh, buy it for own stay, so they can actually just uh, stop this uh, NRES program and mm. continue, uh, do not want to continue with that, just inform the uh, consortium, they will actually stop it, right? Yes. So even right. though I, I'm the investor right now, uh, I my initial plan is just for investments, then uh, halfway through that I decided to move in by myself, I can still mm. s stop the uh, program and there won't yes. be any penalties or whatsoever, right? Uh, yeah. So if you if you decide to later on, like say maybe your children is going to stay over, uh, stay uh, take over this house, or you are going to move in, there won't be uh, there won't be any problem. You will just uh, have to inform them, and then they will take it off you. Mm. Okay. So what is the difference between the NRES property or the one that without the NRES? What is the difference? Actually, in the property that we are marketing, um, you know, and 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 uh, now there's no difference. Actually, um, the uh, the configuration, the pricing are all the same. Um, mm -hmm. But of course, the only difference is that um, the we have very limited allocation for NRES. Mm -hmm. So, like you know, in a in a property, so that uh, of maybe 120 units, there's only certain units are available for the NRES uh, allocation. Like we mentioned earlier in the program that, you know, the allocation is now limited. Um, you know, we only have a, a small numbers now and it's only available in uh, WA right now. So the other states actually hardly see any NRES anymore. So, um, of course, with this limited number, each house housing that apply that has the location will become even more limited and people are because if there are two um, the, the property all the other units are actually the same unit exactly the same layout and the same configuration and uh, therefore the ones with NRES will be of course uh, more sellable than the ones without because you know of the um, of the uh, positive uh, cash flow because of all these um, other uh, factors in uh, you know if it is an investor that buy into this property they would of course choose the NRES uh, um, unit rather than not yeah Mm. Yep. So that means, in other words, the whole building there might not be like hundred percent allocations for NRES. Probably only a certain percentage the allocations for NRES. And of course, the other thing is like, um, not every projects that actually have such allocations as well, right? That's right. So yeah. So it depends on the um because when NRES when it it is meant to provide affordably affordable housing to the people and the government is also giving out free money for this uh, this housing therefore the government is also very selective on the suburb that is located and uh, you know it's not just like you know any 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 developer building in any anywhere can get this kind of allocation so government also they do their homework you know to give out free money but you know they also want to make sure that this housing is actually meets the meets the requirement, the needs of the people that that uh, needs this uh, housing. So usually the housing will be uh, uh, located in a suburb that is you know popular with uh, you know um, with people like like to stay there, and then with the you know the number of uh, tenants that uh, they will they would have done their their research and the calculation uh, about this which suburb to identify for NRES uh, location. Yeah. yeah, normally it will actually uh, uh, located. 
those, especially in the prime area. So mm -hmm. I, I remember there's once that I, I've been to this uh, NREST open house and in fact, there's actually a lot of people actually queuing there just to, to do the inspection. So mm -hmm. yeah, it's, it's, it's a huge... Uh, yeah. this, in fact, I would say that this kind of program that is actually uh, very uh, favored amongst the uh, locals because yeah. you are talking about uh, 20 20% 20 uh, render lower than the market uh, render. Yes. Yep. So because of this 20% uh, lower of the market renters that uh, I need to sacrifice as an investor, okay, mm -hmm. if I were to buy these investments. So would that affect my valuations on my property or not? Uh, no, actually valuation is, is based on the location of the property and also, you know, the size of the property. As we mentioned earlier, the uh, size of the property, uh, the units are actually ident identical. Like say, you know, you have two, yep. need two bath and, you know, so some units comes with NREST, some units come without NREST. So basically when you buy into that uh, project, the, the property, the unit will be quite uh, the same, the same configuration. But because there are only limited numbers of uh, NREST allocation, so not all the units will be uh, having this NREST, uh, you know, uh, allocation. Yep. Therefore, evaluation on this kind of unit, uh, this unit, whether with NREST or without NREST, it doesn't make a difference. The valuation will still be the same. Yep, and on top of that, uh, I'm sure they can actually get financing even though this is an NREST investment. Yeah, that's right. So they, they can get financing, so they, they have to really uh, work it out, like, you know, because you are renting it out at 20% lower than the uh, market right price, and also the um, money comes like once a year from the, from the government, so therefore you have to work out the differences and then be aware that you need to, you know, uh, um, um, uh, settle the loan month by month and uh, um, you know with a with a uh, short with a lesser uh, rental so you have to you know be, 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 be keeping an eye on that okay so um, so in other words that um, NREST is in fact is a good investment especially for those investor is ready uh, especially during this uh, period of times we are talking about pandemics so that everybody was quite worried that uh, whether this uh, is the right time to invest and all these things, I'm sure with this uh, government's uh, incentive, okay, uh, up to six years, uh, this will actually give you a piece of uh, uh, mind that uh, is safe, okay, and um, you do not have to worry that your unit might not be able to rent out. Even though your unit will not be able to rent out, you are still getting the incentive from the governments, and the money is actually very safe from the governments, okay. Um, it's not like from any other uh, corporates or, or private bodies. All right, mm -hmm. so would you want to share um, the projects that actually entitled for this uh, NRES investment today? Okay, today actually we want to bring to, uh, to, to share with everybody uh, this one project that uh, we have been talking. Uh, um, it, it's called uh, Velocity and mm -hmm. it's located at Cannington. Uh, it's uh, south of Perth. Uh, you know, so um, so this uh, uh, this is actually a freehold project, and uh, it has about total units of hundred and twenty units. Mm -hmm. Actually, um, it is quite uh, uh, quite sold out already. Actually, not 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 completely, but it's about that. It says seventy percent, eighty percent actually almost gone already. So um, yeah, so but then uh, we still have very limited. Um, a few limited uh, NREST uh, unit. So yeah, so this is now, therefore now today we are sharing with everybody about uh, NREST and then how uh, and about this project. Mm. Okay, so uh, where is this loca located? Is it very far from the city? Which suburb is it from? Uh, it is in Cannington. Actually, okay. it's uh, not very far from the city. It takes about 15 minutes from the city, mm -hmm. uh, CB. A CBD to drive there. It's about uh, maybe uh, 10 minutes uh, drive from the airport and about uh, also about 10 minutes drive from the um, uh, Curtin University. Oh, and okay. Within walking distance to uh, Westfield Carousel, the biggest uh, shopping center in the whole of Western Australia. So, wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then it seems very convenient. And is there any bus stops or public transportations around yeah. there? 
Yes, uh, so you have uh, the very convenient bus stops uh, just, just around there and then you know you have buses that runs to uh, the uh, Curtin campus as well as uh, to the to, uh, CBD. Uh, yes. So train station is also very nearby. And in fact, this whole area has been, you know, uh, very well developed and then government is also investing about, you know, 76 million into uh, uh, transforming the uh, Canning Kennington city. So, uh, so in the, in the, in, and, and, and right there, there's one uh, street called Cecil, Cecil Avenue and it's identified as the first smart uh, street in, uh, in uh, Western Australia. Wow, okay. So it's like a retail street with all the uh, cafes and, and uh, restaurants around. Yeah, that, that's very interesting. And when you say it's only like walking distance to the Westfield Corridor, and in fact, Westfield Corridor is one of my favorite uh, shopping malls in Perth. So I too. <laughs> <laughs> Without me, that every time that, especially I uh, visit Perth, I have definitely yeah. drop by uh, and yeah, shop definitely. there. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a huge shopping mall. Mm. All right, so... Uh, and the best part is it's close to the Curtin University as well. So again, for parents who want to uh, buy for the kids, uh, uh, especially kids are studying in uh, Curtin University. So again, this is again, uh, very good investments. Okay, mm -hmm. what is the uh, starting price uh, when you talk about this NRAS locations for this velocity? Okay, um, now uh, we have uh, uh, starting price is at uh, Australian dollar for Four hundred and five thousand, mm -hmm. and uh, and uh, they have units come from um, about two two bedroom one bath mm -hmm. and uh, yeah so and two two bedroom two bath as well so oh. the earlier because I told uh, I we we mentioned before that you know this uh, project is already almost 70 80 percent sold so they have actually um, uh, one uh, one bedroom unit uh, and one one bedroom plus uh, one study unit as well, but I think it's quite so already. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, and at your background is actually the uh, the projects, right? <laughs> yes. Yes. So it's like a low density. How many units in total actually? Hundred and twenty units. Oh, okay. And it's freehold as well, right? Yes, freehold, freehold. Yeah. Okay, so uh, right now, again, so we have limited units for this endless allocation. So I would say less than 10 units mm. or about there. Okay, mm. so again, uh, local are buying up as well because uh, again, this is a very good investment. So what is the completion date like? I, I understand that it's soon, right? Yes, so uh, with this project, you know, you, you, you basically actually already can see the building there. Mm -hmm. and Completion date is uh, in November 2020. So it's very soon, end of this year, in a few months' time. Oh, okay. So maybe we are showing uh, the uh, on the site video. So at least you will take a look at the surrounding and uh, the construction's uh, progress as well. Mm -hmm. Right. Give me a minute. Ah.
Isn't it beautiful? Yes. I love it. You're threatening. <laughs> and then the spinners took the wickets yesterday. Wow. All right. Um, for those that have just joined in, uh, if you have any questions about this NREST investments or any uh, information you need to know about uh, Velocity, you can always uh, leave your comment. Uh, we will actually uh, get back to you soon. Uh, or you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask as well. All right. We will try to answer you uh, later. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, um, we are almost towards the end of our uh, international prop chat. So um, remember, it happened uh, every Friday at uh, 9.30, except that if there's any public holidays, then we probably will not showcase uh, the international prop chat, just like we missed it uh, last week. Okay, But normally, we, it will be uh, on Fridays, uh, Malaysia time, uh, 9.30. So feel free to join us and mark your calendar as well. Okay, If you miss any of our episode and you would like to uh, replay, you can always go to our YouTube channel, IQI International Sales, or you can go to our Facebook uh, international page uh, to replay all this episode. And sometimes we will share a lot of uh, articles and market updates uh, with you all as well. So feel free to like our page as well. Okay, back to Sue. So, um, in your opinion, okay, what is the uh, uh, matters that the investor that who needs to pay attention when it comes to this NREST investments? Okay, um, so there are uh, some considerations uh, uh, for the investor. Of course, um, you know, uh, every investment, there is some, el some element of risk, right? Mm -hmm. So, that's why we call it investment. But um, so with NRES particularly, um, um, so uh, when um, you take you you uh, take hold of an NRES allocation, you are actually renting out the property at a twenty percent below the market uh, uh, value, and uh, depending on the your your the rental of your of your of your property, so this twenty percent can be quite substan quite substantial, and and also, um, but then you still you you are actually getting the same amount of rebate from the government. So eleven thousand, you know, you, not because the low rental and then you know your 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 lower income and you will be compensated with higher higher rebate. So the rebate is the same no matter how how high or how low is your rental. Okay, so eleven thousand two hundred and seventy is fixed. This amount is fixed. So, so regardless of any uh uh. What kind of property price as well, right? So the eleven thousand incentive is actually fixed. Yeah, the property type. Of course, if you invest in in a in a, a landed property, probably it will be more expensive, and uh, you know, uh, and and maybe bigger property will be more expensive. But mm -hmm. any, regardless of any kind of property that you you invest in, um, the rebate is the same. Okay. So this, but but understands that with this incentive, uh, you will actually cover more than the whatever twenty percent that you lose on your rental. Yes, definitely. It will. It will. It, uh, um. So you you're talking about uh eleven thousand um uh for uh two hundred for a year. So if you work uh averagely um so you are you are getting about two hundred um uh, for a week like that. Yeah. So so you are getting about two hundred more. Yeah. So but then. You, Certain amount, yeah. Yep. So, uh, and uh, uh, so uh, another consideration the investor has to take is that because the rental that they receive is twenty percent lower than than the um the market uh, rental, therefore, if those people uh, investors that are, are serving a loan. So they, you know, uh, like I mentioned before, you need to be aware that you need to have the uh, the, the the cash to cover the differences of the of the uh, the short in rental that you receive, and uh, with 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 your money, then because your rebate actually from the government actually comes once a year in lump sum, not not uh, not monthly. So therefore, you need to make up for the difference between the the, the loan repayment and the, the the difference of the rental. Yeah. Yep. So second one. Mm. Um, okay, and other than that, uh, owner cannot really decide on the rental. So this, this decision is uh, done by the consortium. So they will have their valuation and they will, they will decide what is the rental that you are going to rent out this property. And therefore, 
owner must always engage a, a, a accredited uh, this uh, property management company. So mm -hmm. they, uh, this company, uh, this company must be accredited with uh, knowing how to handle and rest property in terms of the documentation and all. So, uh, so owner cannot. Uh, handle their own um, property rental by themselves. So, and you can't go to any any one of the uh, property agents to handle the NRS investment unless yeah, I can't yeah. just simply uh, you can uh, you can appoint any uh, uh, property agent that you like to be to, to be handling your uh, property uh, this NRS property. It must be those that has been uh, accredited with the uh, ability to uh, handle the documentation and all. Yeah. Yep. Understand. So, a few um, um, uh, uh, consideration and then uh, of course the NRES like we mentioned earlier it's until 2026 so for six years only so you know but of course this is already better than most of the uh, rental guarantee right so six yeah. years is already <laughs> yeah what about yeah. the property management fees is it uh, slightly higher compared to the normal one yes Higher than the normal one, so uh, for normal one in uh, in WA is range about maybe eight point five percent. Uh, so uh, and uh, plus uh, the sub the the tax maybe about nine point three something percent. But for the um um uh, this uh, uh property agent that handles and rest, they will charge a little bit more. Okay. So about to be around about maybe about ten percent around there. Mm. Okay. Okay. So uh, this is probably a few, few points that uh, investor must take note when they invest in NRES property. Mm. Then what, in your opinion, what is about, uh, so good about this NRES uh, investment? What is the advantage of uh, buying an NRES investment properties? Of course, there's an advantage of, uh, you know, of course, the first advantage is the tax-free incentive, right? That is basically tax-free. So, even if you uh, get a normal normal rental, like you know, if you you if you rented your your place a little bit higher than the the, the market rate, but your whole rental income is taxable. Mm -hmm. Whereas this money that comes from the government is actually tax free. So you 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 are being taxed taxed on the uh, lower rental, but mm -hmm. you are receiving a, a chunk of money that is tax free. So this is uh this is and this this this. And more often than uh, the money that the rebate that you receive actually is a pro we will provide you with a cash uh, positive cash flow as well. Wow. Okay. Yep. That's one of the, the main uh, concerns for <laughs> the good point. The good point. Yes. Uh, so uh, so even though your property is uh, NRES property, the appreciation, the capital appreciation, capital growth is still the same. Like we said earlier. The, because basically you are actually using the normal unit. You you don't like specially design that unit. Uh, you know maybe uh, less less uh, um, uh, less than the other units that's not meant for uh, unrest. So the units are actually the same. So you will enjoy the same capital growth as all the other units. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, um, and uh, another advantage, and then um, so your and also. Um, uh, one of the other advantage is that your property you will not uh, lack of tenant. You see, like uh, you know, there will be many people queuing up for your property, like uh, yes. like earlier, right? Like you know, yeah. so many people going to check the the um the unit for NRES to rent. Yeah, so your 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 unit is always popular with the um, the, uh, the 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 tenants. Mm. Mm. So in other words, it's like. Uh, because uh, I would say that you will increase the tenant uh, appeal due to the lower rental, so a lot of people will actually prefer to stay uh, in this kind of uh, NRES properties. Mm. Mm. Yes, so you basically when you purchase into an NRES um, uh, property, all the purchase procedure, the transaction is exactly the same. So you are looking at a little bit higher of the uh, cost uh, during the uh, the end rest period, but other than that, um, you know your your um, after deducting off uh, the cost and your your uh, money, your incentive that comes in, you still provide you with a positive cash flow. Mm. That is actually mm. very important. 
Mm, that's right. That's important for all the uh, investors that plan to you know invest in overseas, especially in in um, Australia. And because now um, the NRES allocation is mostly in WA, this is also another advantage because you know typically th um, the property in WA the entry level is a little bit lower than the eastern state, right? So so even if you invest in a, in a, even let's say, even if you have an NRES property in Eastern State, but the entry cost is so high and the rebate is actually the same. So, so you know, you, you might as well, you know, uh, as a smart investor, you want to put in the least money and then get back the same money, same, same, same rebate, right? You don't want to put in more money to get back the same rebate. So, you know, that's advantage of why um, uh, property in uh, NRES in uh, Perth is, uh, is a very good choice, you know, to go in. Yeah. Yeah. And of course, we are talking about during this pandemic as well, Perth is actually one of, uh, one of the cities that have recovered the best amongst the rest. <laughs> <laughs> and Perth has the same time zone as us though. <laughs> yes. So in fact, Perth is a safe, safer heaven <laughs> for everyone. It's like a country by itself actually. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And um, another point that probably I can add on is uh, of the uh, portfolio buildings, especially for those uh, seasoned investors, they want to buy a uh, uh, different kind of uh, investment portfolio uh, with this tax freeze is really helping them to actually save a lot when it comes to uh, taxable income. Mm. Yeah. Mm. yeah, that's a valid point and a very um, yeah, attractive reason. Mm. Any, any other points that you could think of? Why buy NRES? Mm. Well, also when you sell, uh, you know, there's no, there's no difference. Right. So when, when as an investor, when you uh, invest in the property, you will always also need to think about the exit. So when you exit, right, so to the to the buyer, uh, it will always it will always be if you exit during the, the end rest period, it will become an additional feature of your of your property, the special the special reason why people must buy your unit and not the unit that next door that without end rest. Because mm -hmm. you know is already guaranteed with the with the incentive right so if you say like you know after three years you decide to sell the second buyer will be more than happy to take over the NRES for you if he is an investor but if he's not an investor you are not losing any any competitive edge as well because you know your unit and the other, and other units are exactly the same so you know you they, they will go in and then you know just use it as a home so there's nothing loose you know uh, on their end as well so you know um, so Therefore, it is important also for the investor to think of the, this exit. Um, it actually gives you a competitive edge if it is still within the, the NRES period. Hmm. Other than NRES, any other incentives that is offered by developer for these projects? Uh, yes. Um, the other incentive uh, for offered by um, uh, Velocity, uh, uh, there are a few. So we, uh, the developer is uh, uh, giving free aircon upgrade to all the bedrooms, mm -hmm. you know, and also there will be a three percent rebate at settlement, and uh, and uh, FR, uh, FIRB fee payable by developer as well. So these are the um, uh, incentive offered by the developer at this moment. Wow, so not bad. Besides NRES um, uh, tax savings. Uh, up to about 67,000 plus for six total six years. And if you would convert to ring it, it's probably about 204,000 <laughs> plus plus. Okay. That is just on the tax savings. So we haven't talked about the uh, FRRB fees, mm -hmm. which is equivalent to about 5,008 uh, AUD and then uh, the 3% of the yep. uh, discount. Yep. Yeah. So for those that who is ready and this is probably one of the projects that you could actually consider, okay? And also, this is just one of the projects that with NREST uh, allocations, of course, we have uh, other projects uh, uh, for landed and townhouses as well. We do offer NREST as well. So for those who is interested to know more about these NREST investments, mm -hmm. or you would like to know more about the projects that offer NREST, always give us a note, uh, comment down here uh, in the comment box. Uh, we will actually get back to you. 
All right. So um, if you have any questions, remember you can always uh, put down your questions. We will come back to you as well. And if you need any uh, projects, uh, brochures or details, uh, just give us your email address. Uh, we can actually send the brochures to you as well. Okay. So uh, any more questions? If there's no more questions, we would sign up from here. Okay, remember, join us uh, next Friday. We have another uh, interesting project uh, in Perth as well because right now, uh, WA have the uh, most incentive uh, offered mm -hmm. uh, by the governments, especially we are talking about 75% uh, stamp duty waiver. So that is actually, again, very attractive incentive that only offer in WA. So please stay tuned with us. Uh, join us uh, next Friday, same time, 9.30. Uh, Malaysia time uh, in IQI uh, Facebook International Sales. Okay, my name is Mandy. And I'm Sue. Okay, good night everyone. Bye-bye. Stay safe. Take care.